Hi guys, Karen Miller here again. I'm feeling a lot of pressure to do this cheese video because I did present the pizza and I, I, I do need to show you uh, how to make the cheese. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna do part one because you need to allocate about seven to 10 days for that cheese. So what I'm going to show you today, I'm just gonna show you the ingredients and I'm gonna show you step one with the, the culture that I use. So let me show you all of the ingredients and then I'm going to show you step one of making the culture. So guys, let's go through the ingredients. This I have here in this jar. It's a fermented drink. It's called Rejuvelac. And this would be the main ingredient in your cheese. This is what will give your cheese this depth of flavor, the tanginess that you want to make you feel that you are eating cheese. So I'm going to explain how I do this, but before I do that, I wanna give you the rest of the ingredients. So like I said, you need about seven to 10 days to, for, to do this process. So if you're making a basic, basic cheese, you're gonna need this, the rejuvelac, and you're going to need maybe just some onion powder and some salt, Himalayan salt, or some sea salt and some chickpea miso. Now, I think I had given some people the address, the website for uh, the chickpea tamari. This is a company called uh, Eastern Sun. I got this from, uh, from them. It is the organic uh, chickpea miso. You need this also for uh, some saltiness and depth of flavor in your cheese. So you need to try to get this before you go through the process of making your cheese. Please order this. It is um, Miso Master Organic. It's from Eastern Sun and it's chickpea miso. So these are the basic ingredients. And then as you move along, you can add maybe a little bit more seasoning to your cheese. I have done the cheese with the savory. I would grind this a little bit finer in my processor. So I do the savory, the onion, and maybe you can do some kelp if you want. This kelp, it looks like um, the granules, it looks like black pepper. I usually use it sometimes instead of black pepper. It is not black pepper, but it looks like black pepper. So let us explain now the rejuvelac. If you looked at my video on uh, the wild rice uh, dosa, where I uh, fermented the rice to make the dosa, it's the same idea. Like I said, all grains have this lactic acid producing bacteria. And this rejuvelac here I made with quinoa grains. Now you could make your rejuvelac with spell grains or I, I would think even the kamut grains. But I like the quinoa. So this here, this rejuvelac here uh, was made with quinoa. So the thing about this that you have to understand is that this would take about five to seven days to do. So you have to give yourself some time to do this. So what I wanted to also say to you is that you have to make sure that you have cleanliness is very, very important when you ferment in anything because you don't want any kind of pathogens in your, in your mixture because then you would have to start over. So you have to make sure that you sterilize your jar. You have to have uh, something like this mason jar that you sterilize. I would show you how to do this when I'm doing it. And you sterilize your jar. You make sure that there are no pathogens and germs in your, in your jar. And then you would start the process. So what I want you to do is, aside from all these other ingredients, especially this one, you have the salt on hand, I'm sure, you have the onion powder, this you need to get. So aside from that, what you need to do is get your jars, some mason jars. If you don't have them on hand, get your mason jars. You also need to get your cheesecloth, which I don't have at hand right now, but you also need to get your cheesecloth. 
so I really I would put this in the description everything that you need but this is the first step to making your cheese so I want you to start getting your ingredients and then I'm going to do part two